Good afternoon again, YouTube fans, or good evening, Graffy sign on again. Just an update on my uh, solar gadget here from my home. So, um, as you can see, I have three systems basically on my house here. I have the one for the driveway, and I have, I show you guys the one at the back of the yard, and uh, this is for the house. So, I added a new charge controller. And here it is, it's a Sunny Sky um, 60 amp charge controller. And uh, on the screen here, as you could see, it shows everything on the screen when it pops up. Panel voltage, watch, MPPT charge, amperage going to the battery, battery voltage, daily uh, kilowatt hours produced, and total kilowatt product hours uh, produce so far um, it's been a month since I have it however I've just installed this charge controller about two or three days ago been busy and it's been raining how many watts of panel do I have on this right now 670 watts of panels I have on this right now it can be maxed out at 24 volts 1700 watts so I will be taking it up, hopefully to the max, or maybe not so close to the max. It's 150 amp, sorry, 150 volts input PV voltage. So pretty good. Uh, some of the features the system have, you hit the menu here. You could see um, system charge and so forth, date and time, exit. There's a graph, shows you um, current for the day and uh, PV power in wattage for the day, in graph and time of day, so which is pretty cool. Exit, uh, battery as you can see over discharge, exit, menu and language setting. Time and date adjustment, contrast, brightness, the beep for the beeping of the buttons and so on, uh, record query, um, delete record, system query, load, communication if you want to hook it to your PC. However, this gold one can't be hooked to your PC, only the green one and um, system uh, parameter setting in here. So let's go into that function or that feature. Enter, password is, oh. okay. And this says system voltage, I'll go back. System voltage is, uh, I mean, type of battery, I mean, so, you could do lithium iron battery, gel, and so forth and so on. So I have liquid battery here. Oops, go back. Oops. Battery voltage. 24 volts. Charge voltage set in. Float and equalize. If you're in manual setting, which is 24 volts, you could adjust the um, float voltage here and the equalizing voltage here. If you have a system set up in automatic detection of battery voltage, then you cannot do any adjustment here. Charge current setting. It's a 60 amp charge controller. I have it set at 50. Discharge uh, limit. I haven't set up as yet. And factory reset if you want to reset the system. 
So that's my new uh, charge controller to this um, deck of contraption right here. So, so far as you can see, the battery's voltage is low. However, um, the voltage here is saying 23.97 volts. However, on my Victron, it is saying 24.17 volts. I wish there was a way I could recalibrate the, uh, the battery voltage here, but unfortunately, you know, I can't. So I just got to live with that. But if you look on the voltage for the Flexmax 80, it says 24.2 volts, 24.1, 24.1, but 23. So I guess I have to live with that few percentage off, but it's fine. Um, well, I can't say I'm going to recommend this to anyone as yet or not um, like I said I have it about a month now and I just got a chance to install it a few days ago so I can't tell you about any um, upside to this or um, downside however I've been checking out charge controllers you know and so forth and so on and this is the reason why I purchased this because all of my information is on one um, screen here so time will tell with this unit Garfield uh, signing off